Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm using my phone as like a little microphone because I have my air conditioner on and my fan and I really just don't want to turn them off because we're currently experiencing a heat wave um, in Massachusetts right now and I just really, I just don't want to suffer. I just, I'm not a summer girly, okay? I appreciate something about every season. Summer is definitely my least favorite because I really hate being hot and that's what summer is i feel like since i just got back from vacation i want to do a like post vacation reset because i think it's a good excuse for me to get back into a routine because i have been horrible with routines for most of this year honestly and it's halfway through the year and i feel like it's time to like establish something and get back on track i'm not gonna do anything like too crazy because i have a really really hard time sticking to routines genuinely the older i get the less I plan and stick to routines, which I think is kind of weird. Like I used to be a big planner when I was younger and now I'm just like, can't be bothered. Um, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have a little list on my phone of things that I would like to do today or like that I need to get done since being back from vacation. So that's kind of what we're gonna work on today. And I added like some routine -y things in there that I want to start working in and like establishing and building up the habit. To have that in my routine so that's kind of what we're gonna do today and as you guys know if you see my vlog i went to tampa it's very hard for me i feel like to vlog when i'm on vacation because like i want to enjoy the vacation so i don't want to be constantly filming so it always ends up being more of like a i don't even know i was gonna say slideshow but i feel like it's not a slideshow if it's videos but it ends up just more being like just like clips of like what i saw versus like me actually like talking and vlogging um but i had a good time i got a really really bad sunburn and i think you can probably see like that i actually have like a tan line which is like insane for me um it was very painful um i've been to tampa three times now to visit my sister and justin so i went to some places i've been before but then i also went to some new places and i went to this ice cream place it was really cool because it was like 50s themed and they had like these little cars you could take pictures in and they had like an elvis randomly and it was just like a fun spot i think we should bring back like decade themed like restaurants like that because i just feel like it's a really good time especially having like a 50s themed like ice cream place that had like ice creams and milkshakes and snow cones like yes i got a snow cone because they had cotton candy and i love snow cones and i love cotton candy anything so i was like you know what i've got to do it so i got a cotton candy snow cone it was delicious did a lot of fun things um but now i am back and it is time to do things i am unpacked but only because i just threw all of my clothes that were in my carry-on straight into the laundry so that's why you won't see me actually like physically unpacking my bag um and i already washed all the clothes so now they're just kind of sitting in a bucket and i have to put them away i always procrastinate putting away my clothes i don't know why because it really doesn't take that long but that's like the chore that i like just don't want to do because i'm like they're in a bucket like i can just sift through the bucket but then inevitably i always need something that's at the bottom so i'm gonna force myself to just put the things away today so i don't have to worry about it my hair looks disgusting as well please excuse that the um florida humidity and the florida water did my hair so dirty this is the other thing i wanted to talk about i lied i'm not going because i think this is so interesting so when i was in florida my hair got like really sticky and like disgusting and i was like really confused because i have been to tampa before and that hasn't happened and then when i was in orlando at the dcp that didn't happen to me either and so i was like googling it because i was like what's what's up i was like did i get something in it but i like washed I kept washing it and like still nothing happened and nothing got any better so i was like very confused and apparently there is hard water and soft water and hard water has like minerals in it that are really harsh on your hair health wise it poses no risks or so i've heard fact check me please do not take me at my word but if you have like oily hair which i do it can be kind of damaging to your hair because it just like your hair holds like all of those oils in and there's so many like oils and minerals in the hard water that your hair starts holding onto all those too and i have oily hair and florida has some of the worst hard water in the entire like us and then i was curious so i was like what is how's massachusetts and massachusetts has soft water in most places i think like cambridge and a few places in boston 
don't have good water, but for the most part, Massachusetts has very, very soft water. So I was like, oh, that makes sense because my hair is used to soft water and it's going to this change of hard water. Um, and then I read this thing that you can get something on the nozzle that will like soften the water or like filter it. And I was like, okay, so that makes sense because just like knowing Disney, they probably had all those like installed in the dorms just because I feel like they want everyone to be like happy. So that would kind of make sense. Whereas like, hey, I don't know, maybe my sister's apartment doesn't have that. I don't know. But I thought that was very interesting because I had never really heard of that or looked into it before. So I wanted to share in case that's happened to anybody else. I'm just, I'm a New England girly through and through. So, okay, now with that, I got things to do. Alright y'all, I finished my little post-vacation reset. These are all the things I had to do that I'll put on the screen. I finished all of the really important things, like the cleaning things, because um, I really wanted to vacuum my room, dust my room. Overall, just clean my room. Like, I just had things in the wrong place, or like, certain areas I wanted to like, scrub down. So like, I did that, and then I wanted to change my sheets, wash my comforter. So I just changed my sheets. My comforter's in the wash right now. Um, it's drying, but it's probably gonna, usually it takes two rounds in the dryer before it's dry enough to spread it out on my bed. And then I did yoga and I meditated and I'm so happy and proud of myself because I have not done yoga or meditated in like, has to have been months. Like whatever the last video of me on YouTube is where I like meditate or do yoga, that genuinely is probably the last time I actually did it. I've just been really terrible with routines this year, which is part of why I wanted to make this video because filming for you guys just like holds me accountable because I'm like okay well now not only do I need to do this for like a routine and because it's good for me but I also like have a whole video riding on me doing these reset things so it just adds an extra like level of motivation for me you know um, I'm not really good at holding myself accountable I feel like so it's nice to have like an extra thing of that you guys are almost like my accountability buddies you know um, so that felt really good to do. Then I had some optional things on my list, like to paint my nails. Like, I don't need to do that. I just, like, was like, oh, maybe I will. But I don't know if I actually feel like it because it takes a long time to dry. And then it's like, I can't really do anything else while I wait for my nails to dry. Bills I had to pay. And I put therapy on there just so I can remind myself that, like, now that I'm home, like, I got to start really looking at places. I had looked at places before and emailed some of them. And I just didn't really like any of them like I can't explain it it's just like the more research I did and like actually corresponding with some people it just like rubbed me the wrong way so I was like mm. and I just like feel like you should trust your instincts with that stuff so I gotta just like keep looking I want to find something that's more local to me because I think I want to go in person instead of online which originally I was looking for online but I feel like going in person for the first few times will be easier also like i feel like it'll make me less nervous and like you can like build up the trust you know so i think i'm going to do that instead so i'm kind of changing my parameters and the way i'm looking for people so i'm kind of almost like restarting the process um i'm very proud of myself i'm very excited that i was so productive today and like got some stuff done i did not feel like being productive today because it was really hot the whole day 
and I'm just lazy, like, in general, but I forced myself to, and I'm proud. Um, I really want to try to do yoga, like, I always say, like, I want to do it every day and, like, stretch every day because it's, like, it's really not that hard. Like, I can easily do that, but I feel like whenever I set, like, lofty goals, I just, like, don't do them, so I'm gonna say, like, at least three times a week because, like, come on, dude, and, like, hopefully I'll get back to doing it, like, every day or, like, every other day because, like, I used to be really active and I would like exercise literally every day pretty much in college except for like the odd like sometimes on the weekends if I like was busy I wouldn't but it was like pretty much every day so I would like to get back to that at least in some like way it was so I really wanted to put like yoga in this reset so that I can start rebuilding the habit um and then I added meditation obviously because I feel like if I'm gonna be putting the mat down and doing yoga I can just take like 10 minutes and like sit on my mat and meditate I feel so good after and it's just 10 minutes so and if I do those both in tandem I'm more likely to remember to do them if that makes sense and I always feel so good after I do both of those so I wanted to make sure to put that on there um everything's put away we did good I, that's pretty much all I had to reset I didn't have like a whole bunch of stuff which is kind of why like I don't really do monthly resets anymore because I just feel like I don't have that much to reset that often at this juncture of my life sometimes and in some points of my life I do and I've had a lot going on right now I really like I just don't feel the need to reset every month anymore so that's why you guys are just gonna get like sporadic resets but anywho I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed my reset um comment down below what you guys do to reset let me know any other videos you want to see from me thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you are not already it makes me very happy and helps my channel out a lot and i will see you guys on wednesday with another video later gators bye